Steblova train disaster. The Steblova train disaster was a railway accident that occurred on 14 November 1960 at 1742 CET on a single track railway in Steblova in eastern Bohemia, Czechoslovakia, now the Czech Republic. At 1742 CET, a passenger steam train 608 traveling at a speed of 55 km slash h abreast collided with a diesel rail car 653 traveling at a speed of 60 km h. 118 people died as a result of the accident and 110 were badly injured. It was the most tragic accident in the history of Czech railway transport. Trains Train 608 drove from Liberec via H. Radek Kralov to Pardubis. It was hauled by the steam locomotive type 354.7128 from the engine house H. Radek Kralov and operated by the train driver. Behind the locomotive were postcar type F9-2236, freight car type ZTR1-36700 personal car, by 3 minutes 3,323, service car DD 7 minutes 2,286, and eight more personal cars. The train crew was composed of a head guard, senior conductor, junior conductor, and train attendant. Train 653 drove from Pardubis to the H. Radek Kralov at distance 22 kilometers. It was composed of the diesel rail car M131.1272, Four personal cars BLM 5 minutes 2338, BLM 5 minutes 2333, BDLM 6 minutes 6890, BDLM 6 minutes 6899, and another diesel rail car M. The machine crew was composed of two train drivers accompanied by the head guard and conductor. According to the train diagram, both trains should have passed in the Steblova station which has three tracks. At that time, the station was secured by the mechanical equipment with central interlock and mechanical signals in both directions. Disaster course. Events before disaster. Train 653 left Pardubis at 17.22, one minute behind schedule. Train 608 left H-Rate at Kralov at 17.25, seven minutes behind schedule. The Steblova station dispatcher set the route for train 608 to track number 1 and assigned train 653 to track number 2. This was the reverse of what was usually done. Train 608 arrived at Steblova station at 1740. The station dispatcher left the office, but after a while he returned to set the route for train 653. The switchman went away to operate switch number 4 to set up for the future departure of the train 653 and also to lift the crossing gates after train 608 passed through. Meanwhile, the station dispatcher confirmed by telephone with Sepperka the station from which train 608 arrived that the track was empty and then set the route for the train 653 arrival. What happened next was never clearly explained. The weather was very foggy with visibility limited to 50 meters. The senior conductor and junior conductors both got down from the train. The senior conductor supposedly saw a green light close to the station office, which would have meant permission to depart. He informed the junior conductor that he had seen the signal and shouted get on. Station dispatcher gives departure. He asserted later that he saw only the flash of green light. Because of the fog, he was not able to identify the source of the light. It could not have been the station dispatcher, as he was in his office at the time. Though the junior conductor personally did not see the green light, he passed the signal to the locomotive. The head guard also accepted the existence of the green light, although he had not seen it. Some passengers later stated that they also might have seen such a light, but were not absolutely sure. The source of the green light, if it existed at all, was never determined. The most likely possibility would have been a junior conductor's lantern, as they were equipped with filters in multiple colors, including green. The train driver, although he did not see the green light, called departure and started the train. Just at the moment the train passed the signal, 
the fireman was putting coal into firebox and discovered the water level was low so he did not notice that the signal was in the stop position even though checking the signals was part of his duty moreover the head guard likewise overlooked that stop signal indeed as he later mentioned he remembered that train 608 normally passed train 653 at Steblova station but he assumed the passing had been moved to the next station when the station dispatcher saw that the train had started to move he rushed out of his office and used a lantern and two whistles to signal stop by any possible means the duty of the senior conductor during departure was to observe signals coming from the station but he had already begun to check tickets one of the switchmen jumped on a bicycle and unsuccessfully attempted to catch up with the train the station dispatcher tried to call a signal box two kilometers away to ask the staff there to stop train 653 however the signalman had left the box to watch the arriving train 653 and only picked up the phone after the train had passed meanwhile the switchman from the signal box in Steblova informed the station dispatcher that train 608 had just passed him, leaving the station area. Collision The collision between trains 608 and 653 happened on kilometer 8.55 at 17.42, some sources says at 17.44. The speed of the steam train 608 was about 55 km slash h train 653 about 60 km slash h both drivers braked but it was too late the train 608 driver and fireman survived almost unhurt because the locomotive's construction especially its long boiler saved them the first car mail was seriously damaged and derailed the next car freight collided with and demolished the mail car in front of it the third car first passenger was almost totally demolished by the fourth service car. The fifth car ran up on the fourth from behind. The remaining seven cars sustained little or no damage. Train 653 experienced much worse damage. Its first rail car was lifted on top of the forward part of train 608's steam locomotive. The first passenger car crashed into the locomotive's side and next three passenger cars collided with it and were totally crushed. The rearmost rail car cut loose and stayed on the track. In order to prevent a boiler explosion, the steam machine driver and fireman dumped their firebox on the ground. The hot coals and ashes ignited diesel, fuel leaking from the first rail car, and the train burst into flame. Rescue Operation the rescue operation started at around 18.00, with the help of medical teams from Pardubis and H. Radic Kralov, members of police then called public security, soldiers from the nearby military school and local citizens. The field first aid post was set up, ambulances transported the injured to hospitals in Pardubis and H. Radic Kralov, and the operations were run even in maternity homes. Special trains equipped with cranes were sent to the place of disaster to deal with the wreckage. Most survivors were rescued before 20 zero. The last survivor was found under the wreckage at around 23 zero, but died during transportation. Wreckage of disaster and the debris was removed on the next day, 15 November 1960, at around 11:30. At 12:30, the first scheduled train went through. During the cleanup. Five fast, 21 passenger, and 21 freight trains were cancelled. The total account was 118 dead and 110 seriously injured, according to some sources 110 and 106. It was impossible to identify some of the victims, and three bodies were not found. The total damage was around 477.0 KCS Czechoslovak Crown's country average month income was 1303 KCS in 1960. Aftermath Court trial A disaster clarifying begun immediately in the night. The Government Investigation Commission was created, which published the final report on 30 November 1960. In general, it stated flagrant violation of elementary railway transportation rules. The trials took place at the regional court in H. Raid at Kralov from 8 to 11 February 1961. 
The verdict of the train's 608 crew was, train head 5.5 years imprisonment, train driver 4.5 years imprisonment released after three years, senior conductor four years imprisonment, assistant slash fireman 1.5 year imprisonment, junior conductor one year suspended. Train attendant acquitted all those convicted were also forbidden from the profession for several years. Publicity, publicity, publicity. The official bulletin was issued on 15 November 1960 by Czechoslovak Press Agency, which was printed by the Rude Pravo Communist Party of the Czechoslovakia Central Newspaper next day. The bulletin published the number of victims mentioned politicians who visited the disaster place and informed about the creation of a government investigation commission. The commission report was published in Rude Pravo on 14 February 1961, with information about trial, which concluded the previous day. Memorial A cross was erected on the place of disaster. It was replaced about 80 meters away in 1967 and enclosed by low grill fence. On the occasion of the 40th anniversary of the disaster in 2000, a memorial ceremony was held in which the municipal office in Steblova replaced the cross, at that time considerably dilapidated and rusty by a black granite plaque with an appropriate inscription inserted into the modified area. Equals equals references equals equals equals.